All right, burners, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Claiborne. Please know how blessed I feel to have you with me today. I know that's quite a bundle of flowers, isn't it? So the wildflower meadow, I've taken y'all on field trips up there before. It is just blooming prolifically this year because of all the rain. And the farmer is getting ready to mow the field. So um, I went in and got a bundle just before he mowed it. I know it makes my heart very, very sad. But I saved a few little flowers so um, we can um, bouquet these up. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to strip the leaves off of most of them. Now I say most of them because there is one particular flower here that I'm incredibly, um, ah, the leaves just smell amazing. So I'm not sure if this is called horse mint or if it's slender mountain mint. Um, they kind of look alike and it hasn't bloomed yet. So I'm not really sure, I'm not real familiar with this one, but uh, I just love when you uh, uh, press the leaves between your fingers. It just has this piney, citrusy smell that is just wonderful. And the wild lilies were in bloom. So, um, and these don't have a smell, like remember the oriental lilies from last week? Um, these don't, these lilies don't have a smell. But I thought, you know, we could go ahead and bouquet this up. So I'm gonna strip the leaves off of everything except for that one plant I just showed you. So I think these are ox eye, but I'm not positive. I don't really know my daisies that well yet. Um, this is a black eyed Susan. And I was gonna say, when you strip your yarrow, save your leaves. These are very medicinal. And you can look up all the uses for these leaves. <clears throat> and we'll just finish stripping these leaves. So I just hold them up here and just pull straight down and then sort them. And I don't leave like secondary blossoms on there. All right, we'll, we'll strip these down and sort them out. So I'm not sure on this if it's mountain men or not, but uh, it, uh, slender mountain men it's called, um, or it's horseweed, one or the other. But either way, I'm gonna save the uh, lower branches that I stripped off for a potpourri because they smell incredible. Okay, we got everything sorted out. So now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna smell every one. I remember that the uh, lilies don't really, the wild lilies, they don't really have a scent. They just smell fresh, you know. Grass, I think this is big blue stem, I wanna say. Um, it is an incredibly beautiful grass. It is so gorgeous. Um, I'm just now into little blue stem. I've just planted little blue stem here at Claiborne. And this, of course, is yarrow. Nope, still don't like the smell of yarrow flowers. What I assume is oxeye daisy. Mm, no, no real scent. This, yes. The leaves, yes. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah, the flowers, not so much. That's daisy fleabane. I accidentally got one of those in there, so we'll just use it. And then we have black-eyed Susan. Ah, oh, smells so fresh. Mmm, I love Black Eyed Susan. Um, Spiderwort. I thought I had two Spiderworts. I might have another one here somewhere. It just smells, oh, there it is. It smells fresh. And the um, Echinacea palita, just, again, it just smells fresh. All right, so we're gonna use our lilies as our centerpiece. So, I'm not crazy about that blossom. It's faded. All right, so, can you guys see okay? So again, we just I just hold them with one hand. Let me move you around so you can see. So I move them with one, or I hold them, I hold them in my right hand. If you're left-handed, or if you're right-handed, you would hold them like this and then cross them like that. But I hold them in my right hand because I'm left-handed. So I want these two beauties in the center. 
And then I kind of want to surround them with the uh, Echinacea polita, pale purple. So, whoops, they're crossed the wrong way. Cross that way. And then all you're doing is just trying to cross them at the same point each time. So you just hold and cross at the same point. And then you turn. Let's get some yellow in there. Oh, that's going to look good, isn't it? Isn't that pretty? I want another one of those on this side. Ooh, I love that grass. That's so pretty. Yellow. You just keep holding in the same spot, or I mean crossing in the same spot, so you get this crossover effect. Actually, put those in the outer edge. Oh, that little guy's kind of spent. Don't forget to turn as you go. So you get this crossover look. I'm trying to show you and hold them at the same time. It's not easy. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty one. That's a big old boy there. Not exactly straight. I wouldn't normally put that in a bouquet, but I will today. Because it's just for us to enjoy. Look at that. Isn't that cool? What a neat flower. Spider wart. Crossing, turning. Want some more grass in there. It's getting too big for my hand. Okay, now I'll put this really smell good mint stuff on the outside. I'm sorry if I'm calling it the wrong thing. Uh, I don't think I'll put the flea bane in there. It doesn't really fit this time. Okay, we got them all in there. So there's the top of our bouquet. Isn't that pretty? All right, so. I'm going to rubber band it right at the point where they all cross, and I'll be right back. All right, a much more um, 
much more darker colored bouquet than we did last time. And then I just kind of go through and make sure everybody shows. Ooh, it smells so good. Whatever that's, that has to be mountain mint, uh, slender mountain mint. I'm growing mountain mint and I sent my friend uh, Zany Mae some mountain mint. Um, but I'm pretty sure, oh wow, that's so pretty. Pretty sure that that, I don't know, it could be horse uh, weed or it could be the, the mountain mint. All right, there we go. So I went uh, to town today and I stopped at a garage sale and I got this vase, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it'd be a little jammed. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this smaller group of flowers in there. I'll give them water in just a second. And then I think we'll add our flowers to this vase. Let's just trim them off. I even sharpened my scissors. look this one which was mostly white and yellow with some echinacea palita um, and that other lily opened um, compared to this much darker that is so pretty you know that grass is something I don't know how that's going to be when it um, starts to fade if it's gonna go everywhere or not but I I'm just very partial to this dark uh, group like that. This dark bouquet is just so beautiful. All right, there you go. Two wildflower lily bouquets. Hope you enjoyed. Much love and light. Blessed be.